Welcome to this episode on the Health and Happiness Show, where it's my mission to change your mindset so that you can live a healthy and happier life. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. Hey guys, Sally here, and welcome back to another episode on the Health and Happiness Show. Where today, I want to teach you a new language. Nope, not German, Spanish or French, but a new narrative. What I mean by that is I want to change the way that you speak to yourself and how you speak to other people. Because here's the thing, mindset is a language and to which the vocabulary that you use determines how you're going to think, feel and act. Let me explain further. Let's take this morning for example. Maybe you woke up, looked at yourself in the mirror and called yourself a fat, ugly mess. Tell me how is that respectful? It's not. It's disrespectful to yourself and it's disgusting that we've found ourselves in this position that we're actually negatively talking to ourselves. Because what I struggle to see and what I struggle to understand is where is the benefit in that? How does that help you? It doesn't. It defeats you and it creates this negative mindset all stemming from the language to which you're using. And furthermore, how you're speaking to other people, hopefully you're not calling people fat, ugly messes, but how you're speaking to other people on an unconscious level, again, affects them and their mindset. Thirdly, how other people speak to you all affects your narrative and your mindset. So we need to become aware of all three and probably change all three as well. So an easy way and an easy starting point is this. Speak to yourself as if you'd speak to somebody else. So like I said, I really hope you're not going down the street and saying you're a fat ugly mess, right? Because it's gonna either gonna get you punched or arrested, right? So don't speak to yourself in that way. Stop putting yourself down because here's the thing, here's the bottom line. You only get one you. And each and every day that you abuse yourself, is a day that you die just a little bit more, right? It is destroying, it is soul destroying, right? It is mentally exhausting, it is emotionally draining to continue to speak this way to yourself when you wouldn't say it to someone else. So please, make that transition, make that change. But look, I understand, you're saying, Ollie, but I don't like the way that I look. Ollie, I hate the way that I feel. Ollie, I can't even bear to look at myself in the mirror. I understand, why do I understand? Because I work with people like you every single day. And what I want to tell you now, as an act of encouragement, is that that can change. The way that you see yourself, the way that you speak to yourself, your self can change. You're always one decision, you're always one choice away from change, okay? And hopefully that choice, that subconscious choice, so go, oh actually I always got a new podcast episode out, why don't I give it a listen? Hopefully that is the catalyst to creating this change for you today, okay? So where do we begin with? We're actually acknowledging the room for improvement, okay? Now, why do I say that? Because, Ollie, no, you know, no shit, I know I need to lose a stone. No, 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 acknowledging that there's room for improvement, right? Take weight loss, weight loss is an easy example. Let's say that you do wanna lose, maybe, you know, 10, 14 pounds, fantastic, right? There is no reason why you can't lose that. And that's what I mean by the room for improvement, okay? It's okay to not be happy in the way that you look right now, because why? If you're changing it. It's not okay to be unhappy with the way that you look if you're doing nothing about that. I don't believe that because you're listening to this podcast. My point is this, by understanding that there is a room for improvement, that there is actually hope to hold on to, anything can change. That's a good starting point. Another good transition in terms of the vocabulary that you use is this, right? So instead of calling yourself a fat ugly mess which serves your health or your happiness, not at all, make the transition to, I might not like the way that I look right now, but I'm committed to changing that. I don't like being this weight, but I'm going to work hard with my diet and to move more with my exercise to lose that weight. That's the transition. It's still the same objective to lose weight, but one is calling themselves 
abuse basically, whereas the other is looking at the opportunity to make the change, right? Take another example. Let's, you know, let's take, um, you know, for example, our job, right? Or maybe you want to go for a job promotion and then that imposter syndrome kicks in, that inferiority complex kicks in. Do you know what? I'm not skilled enough to do that. I'm not qualified enough to do that. I'm not clever enough, right? That is a form of abuse to yourself as well. That is serving yourself no well. And essentially that candle that was lit, that was the job opportunity, has now just been blown out. Instead, make that change to, this is a step up from where I am and therefore I may be required to uh, invest in my learning more in order to appropriately and responsibly you know, actually achieve the objectives of that job. Maybe another change is actually saying, do you know what, I feel uh, a little bit underskilled to apply for this job, but I'm committed to working on myself and my education over the next three months so that I am the best candidate that can and does apply for that job, right? That's just another example. Let's take a third one, okay, because all things come in threes. Oh my God, you see this hot girl, this hot guy at the bar, and you really, you, you're really attracted to them, right? But you're like, Ah, they're too good for me. Uh, I'm punching too high, right? They're never gonna say yes, right? What does that do? That defeats you. Now, look, the reality is, you've never even met, maybe you've never even spoken to that person, or actually, you just haven't spoken to that person. Maybe actually, by speaking to that person, you may find the love of your life. You may find your soulmate, right? You never know on the other side and what you don't do, okay? So actually, take that step make that decision again it's a decision it's a choice right and actually if they politely say you know sorry i'm not interested then guess what you respect that right but if you don't try then you'll never know and surely it's better to try and fail and in this case get rejected than to never try at all the reality is you being hard on yourself is achieving very little in fact i can't understand what it is achieving all that's creating is an unhappy unhealthy you and if you know anything about me guys you know I'm all about the health and the happiness and you deserve both so start speaking to yourself the way that you would speak to someone else with respect with love with care and with kindness and guess what happens you start to become healthier you start to become happier your mindset starts to change oh my god my mindset's changing oh my god I wasn't ready for this you start to change, you start to become more positive, you start to appreciate, you start to find gratitude. That all starts with the internal dialogue. And it's so funny, right, because we want the external change, we wanna tone up, we wanna tighten up, we wanna lose weight, right? That's the external change. That only begins when we change the internal dialogue, right? The way that we speak to ourselves, do you know what? I'm not happy with where I am today, but I'm committed to making that change. I'm committed to going on a diet. I'm committed to working on my self-development. I'm committed to changing my life. Know your worth. You may not be where you wanna be, but you're one decision away from making that change. You need to remember that. I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's been useful. When you change the narrative, everything starts to change. Um, yeah. Finally, finally, I want to touch on actually when you're the subject of the abuse from someone else, okay? So you're now starting to speak to yourself better, healthier, happier. You're now actually speaking to others in the same way with respect. But now actually you're on the receiving end of the negativity. Truthfully, what I, I believe is a superpower, which is inside of you, is empathy. I don't think anyone deliberately wants to be or becomes a nasty person, right? Don't get me wrong, some acts are unacceptable and unforgivable, but no one, you know, we were all born with the same opportunity to become a great person, right? Like, tell me that, no one's born as a baby a nasty or negative person, right? We are conditioned to become the negative or nasty person. Maybe we actually didn't have the love and the appreciation that we craved and desired as a child and that's why today we're actually so resentful to anyone that has what you never had, right? That's just an example, okay? But um, 
having empathy and showing compassion towards someone who has never even showed you an ounce of that is remarkable. And actually you, by showing your love and your kindness to that person, your empathy, when maybe they've never had that themselves, could be the change, could be the catalyst to them actually changing their language, right? Because again, pain builds up. We all know what pain is like, where it's the pain of never being able to look at yourself in the mirror. Maybe it's the pain of losing a loved one. Maybe it's the pain of going through something such as cancer. It doesn't matter. Pain is pain and pain hurts. So maybe that person is in pain and unfortunately, the only way that they can express that and communicate that is through nasty and negative language. Well, maybe help them learn a new narrative by showing kindness, by being open, by bringing them into your world and helping them, right? Why am I a coach? Because I wanna help people. I wanna give people opportunities. I wanna show people that actually nothing's impossible. And as I believe, I want to help people turn their pain into their purpose, okay? So that's what it's all about, but that's what I wanted to touch on there just before I let you go. And um, so there's a few points, there's a few considerations, but remember, show yourself some respect. You only get one you, you only get one body, you only get one mindset, okay? That can become anything that you want it to be. You just have to do the work and be a little bit patient. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Until next time, stay healthy, be happy, take care.